Welcome back. Seven Nights of Frights is happening this week, and I spoke with Dave Schrader of the Holzer Files all about what is premiering tonight. You can watch the Holzer Files, and here's more information right now. For many, more time at home means more reported paranormal activity and just in time for Halloween. So get ready for a spine-tingling Ghostbuster with Travel Channel's Seven Nights of Fright. Right now, we are catching up with paranormal investigator and star of The Holzer Files, Dave Schrader. Dave, thanks for joining us here on Park City Television. Hey, it's our pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. So this is fascinating. Tell me more about how this paranormal activity is being reported more because people are home. Well, I think that's a big part of it, right? I mean, how many of us have these experiences? And, and so many people say, why does it only happen at night? Well, it doesn't. But in most cases, we're not home during the day or we're so tied up with work and, and school and everything going on that we don't pay attention. And with what our world's been through for the last three, four months, things have slowed down. People are more in the moment. They're more aware of their surroundings probably more now than ever so they're starting to notice the subtle shifts and changes and when you're pouring all this energy into a location you're there more the idea is you might be actually bolstering that paranormal activity by feeding into it by giving your attention and energy to it so tell me more about the holzer files Holzer Files is a remarkable show, not just because I'm a part of it, but mostly because I'm a part of it. Uh, the show is really cool. We get a chance to go back and re-examine the case files of Dr. Hans Holzer, who was America's preeminent paranormal investigator. He really kind of made it water cooler talk, wrote over 140 books on the paranormal, featured on numerous television shows, investigated some of the biggest claims of supernatural occurrences, and his family allowed us to reopen these case files that were once thought lost and go back in, re-examine these cases with a 21st century perspective and see if we can get more information and see if these active uh, locations are still reporting paranormal activity, and many of them are. So it's been really kind of refreshing to get back into these old cases and see what new stories may have developed, what hauntings are still taking place there. And this year, I promise you, season two is going to blow the doors off. People are going to love what we're able to capture. I think, in all honesty, we get some of the best paranormal evidence you'll ever see on a paranormal show, period. So do you think this will leave viewers terrified, excited, curious, all of those things? Yes, 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 and yes. Uh, it's going to give you a different perspective on different aspects of the paranormal. There are some really chilling moments. Some of these stories, like our season premiere is The Phantom Hand, this story out of Ohio, where we start to realize as we're piecing this together, the spirits are restless. And why? Because we believe that there may have been a serial killer that is to blame for a lot of the deaths and the hauntings that continue to this date. And some of the evidence that we capture was really chilling. We're in kind of an unconventional location for the season for one episode, as the original location that was investigated back in the 60s by Hans Holzer has since been torn down and demolished. But the story itself is one of the most well-documented paranormal cases. This family was tormented, and they actually had one of those trap doors in the floor, and they would see this hand reaching out through the trap door. They got so unnerved, they called the police who fired rounds at it. This is part of the newspaper accounts of the time. And they were afraid to go down because they knew this, this thing was otherworldly. And we get to, you know, a chance to look into these cases and figure out what was happening. What were the ghosts trying to tell us? And that really is what history is. Ghosts are, are there to remind us where we've been and not to forget the stories of what's happened. Oh, I love that perspective. I don't have a lot of time left, but I'm curious, Dave, how did you become a paranormal investigator? I was born into it. I've had paranormal experiences my whole life. Uh, and then in 2006, I launched a radio show called Darkness Radio, and we'll be on the air 15 years this year. Um, people can find us at darknessradio.com. We have gone all over the world with our listeners to investigate the Stanley Hotel, uh, the Queen Mary uh, in Long Beach, California, uh, Eastern State Penitentiary, you name it, we've been there. And then we've gone around the world to see these places. So it's just this fascination of trying to understand how close are we 
to that next level? And what are the messages that those spirits have to share with us? Oh, I can't wait to tune in and watch. How can we find out more about the Holzer Files and where can we go to make sure we don't miss it? Make sure you check out the Travel Channel. You can follow them on social media. You can also go check out their website. There's a lot of great information, some behind the scene photographs and clips that you'll be able to check out at Travel Channel. So tune in, enjoy, have some frights and fun with us every Thursday night on the Travel Channel. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I forgot to mention everything behind you. <laughs> yes. You like that? I do. <laughs> great. We're My gonna have to skull, come to your house. I, yeah. Come on over. We'll have a nice little uh, seance together. Okay, we will do. Well, thanks again, Dave, for joining us here on Park City Television. Thank you.